Well, I think it's kind of what we said in our research, which is to, to acquire or to be acquired. I think we're going to have to understand the company's growth strategy for their long-term business in a better way. Okay, on both sides of those transactions, <laughs> um, who, who could be the buyer, who could be the target? I mean, it's interesting. I think, you know, any company that has um, exposure to a neurology, um, you know, small players like that, they might be in DMD or different spaces or, you know, kind of depression. Or, um, you know, companies, big companies that have neurology platforms, multiple sclerosis platforms or depression platforms where they have already leverage. Um, to those opportunities. You don't want to give me stock names, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell. I'm trying. <laughs> um, in, in, but this would be a, an acquisition along the lines of a, of a Bristol, right? I mean, I mean, if I Biden, mean the, the acquirer would have to be that big. If Biogen were to be acquired, it would be yeah. a, kind of a mega deal. It would definitely have to be a very sizable, large biopharma player, probably north of $60 billion, in my view, on cap. Reading through your research, though, it, it does sound like if it, if it remained alone, I mean, you're also writing down the value, it looks like, or you're lowering your expectations for the Spinraza uh, franchise as well. So beyond that, what does Biogen have in the pipeline? Or, or is that it? Does it stop there? No, they have more. Um, you know, I think they have things in stroke and in pain. Um, they have also kind of programs there. Or they did a deal with Nightstar, um, which is in, like, ophthalmology. So there's opportunities. I just think they're early and, and just a little bit risky. And I think we need to see more data before we're certain what will happen. They also have, you know, programs remaining in Alzheimer's. But I do think today was a major hit to the um, thesis around how to treat patients with Alzheimer's. And how could the partner have been so confident as we just heard he was last summer? Now, obviously, people can say, you know, we're, we're we think we have good research and this is but to say 100 percent certainty. Yeah. And then we get this news, which clearly I mean, this is a hum is a big drop for the stock. It's so big yeah. disappointment. Why did why was this so out of the blue? Yeah, it's definitely how, not how I expected to start my day today <laughs> um, with an interim readout where that was futile. Right. And, you know, I think if you. Wall Street had always been a little cautious. We were kind of like, oh, it's 50-50. We just don't know. And that's because Alzheimer's is incredibly difficult to treat. There's this amyloid beta hypothesis. This is how all the drugs are. And it's just, we just don't know if it works. And I think Biogen had the best shot of working. And so I think, you know, we're probably all going to be going back to the drawing board a little bit after this to figure out how to treat Alzheimer's patients.